So, it's day two of CES 2025, and the tech world is buzzing. Have you ever imagined robots doing chores for you? Or AI transforming your everyday gadgets? The show is packed with everything from groundbreaking announcements to robots everywhere, and AI in almost every booth. You can't go anywhere without hearing about autonomous this or machine learning that. All right. So Samsung introduced a cool new stretchable micro LED display. It can change its shape from flat to raised areas on command. This technology uses smart software that decides which parts of the screen should expand. This could be really helpful for things like gaming or medical visuals. SwitchBot showed off a household robot that can vacuum, organize things around the house, purify the air, keep an eye on pets, and even carry small plates of food. This robot gets smarter over time by learning the layout of different rooms and figuring out how to avoid obstacles. Sony introduced an amazing entertainment system that fully immerses you. It combines LED panels, haptic guns, and tracking technology to create a unique experience. The system uses smart algorithms to adjust sounds and lights based on where you move in the game. Lenovo showed a rollable PC concept where the screen pops up vertically from behind the main body. The screen has software that adjusts the layout of apps when it expands, so everything stays organized and doesn't get messy. Mooter Link introduced a smart wristband that reads tiny movements in the wearer's arm. It uses electromyography signals, which are turned into commands by an onboard AI model, letting the user's hand control a virtual mouse or keyboard. BMW revealed a new iDrive system that projects important driving information onto the windshield in a continuous line. The system uses smart technology to filter out unnecessary details, reducing distractions for the driver. Acer showed off an 11-inch handheld gaming PC that can handle large game libraries powered by modern AMD parts. It uses AI to boost performance and help with tasks like upscaling graphics. Honda introduced the Zero Saloon electric car, which comes with strong driver assist features. It also has a system that learns the driving route and adjusts battery usage accordingly. A Mazfit showcased a fitness watch priced around $100. It has voice control, offline maps, health tracking, and an app that uses machine learning to track and interpret trends over time. Besides the major announcements, there were other exciting moments. NVIDIA's Jensen Hang introduced new graphics cards, special AI chips, and a $33,000 supercomputer made for robotics and self-driving cars. Panasonic launched a project called Panasonic Go, supported by a huge investment in Blue Yonder, which has its own AI model for optimizing supply chains. They also revealed too, an AI-powered wellness coach that gives advice through natural conversations. Some cool robots also grabbed attention. Mirakai from Enchanted Tools is a fox-like robot designed to act as a concierge or a patient companion. It's powered by AI for conversation and can navigate on its own. RCA presented Nipper, a robotic dog that can dance, patrol a house, and send video alerts if it detects an intruder. It learns to understand voice commands in multiple languages. Delta introduced an AI voice assistant in its app to help with flight changes and personal preferences, making the travel process much easier for passengers. The USPTO revealed a new collectible card celebrating Dr. Ann Howard, an AI pioneer who created robots that help children with special needs. Bosch showed off the Revel Smart Crib, which has sensors and cameras to track things like heart rate and breathing. The AI system rocks the crib gently and sends alerts if there are safety concerns. Later, the crib can be turned into a desk. Glolmi introduced a pet key tracker that can find your animal anywhere in the world using multiple coverage options. Segway presented e-bikes under the XFAR and Zyber lines, which come with anti-theft protection and GPS navigation features. Samsung's booth featured a variety of connected devices, including an AI washer that stores detergent, a smart pet tag, and an indoor gardening box with sensors that help plants grow better. 
Wioke showed a new smart cane that uses sensors and haptic feedback to help visually impaired users navigate around obstacles. It pairs with a smartphone's AI for added assistance. PetCube displayed a water fountain for pets that filters and purifies water with a UVC light system and an app to track daily water consumption. Volvo's CEO talked about the company's future plans for fossil-free vehicles with improved safety features. Atari introduced the Game Station Go, a gaming console with over 200 Atari games. It includes controllers like a joystick, D-pad, and trackball, plus an SD card slot. My Arcade also showcased the Game Station Retro Go, which is slightly bigger and comes with classic games like Street Fighter II. Both devices will be released in quarter three. Neural introduced the MW75 headphones, which track the user's brain waves to measure focus. In a demonstration, a rocket moved faster or slower depending on the user's concentration, tracked by EEG sensors. John Deere expanded its AI-powered farming solutions, including self-driving tractors, sprayers that detect weeds and crops, and ride-on lawnmowers for large estates and golf courses. Dell announced it will retire its Latitude and XPS lines, focusing instead on three main categories, Dell, Dell Pro, and Dell Pro Max, each with base and premium options. The goal is to simplify consumer choices while still offering different features and specs. X, Jimmy revealed the Ascend, a large motorized projector screen with a sound bar, which pairs wirelessly with the X Jimmy Aura 2 short throw projector. The company mentioned it might use AI for brightness and color adjustments. X Tool introduced the F1 Ultra, a dual laser engraver that works with both fiber and diode lasers. It can engrave metals, plastics, and wood, and calibrates itself by detecting the distance from the target, applying powerful lasers in seconds. Viv Health showcased the Viv Ring, a health tracking device that monitors biometrics like heart rate, stress levels, and oxygen saturation. It uses AI-generated soundscapes to improve sleep and also tracks regular activity. A pro version, coming later, may include continuous blood pressure monitoring and AI detection. Jackery introduced a solar roof designed to look like regular terracotta tiles. It has a 25% efficiency rate, slightly higher than many consumer solar panels, and comes with a 30-year warranty. When paired with the Jackery Home Energy System, it stores solar energy for later use. ESR launched the Geod Digital Pencil, priced around $30 which works with Apple's Find My System. It charges in just 30 minutes and offers about 12 hours of use with a tilt sensor and palm rejection. Amos Fit introduced a new prototype called V1AI, a small camera that sits on a table. It sends the data, like calories, carbs, and proteins, to the Zep app. Asus launched the Chromebook CX14 for around $200. It has a 14-inch 1080p screen and an Intel Celeron N4500 processor. There's also a 15-inch version in the new Chromebook Plus line with stronger processors at a slightly higher price. Garmin's Instinct 3. Watch now comes with an AMOLED display option and 24 days of battery life. The solar version has a monochrome MIP screen and can last much longer with sunlight charging. It also features an integrated flashlight and advanced activity tracking. The watch can sync with smartphones to show notifications and track health parameters like heart rate variability, meet caretaker robots, and check out advanced baby cribs. Many car companies showcased improvements in self-driving technology or new concepts. Sony Honda Mobility displayed prototypes of upcoming electric vehicles with a focus on AI personalization. Panasonic emphasized generative AI as a key part of wellness and supply chain optimization, while Nvidia's new chips powered many robotics demonstrations. Day 2 at CEA Styes 2025 showed how AI is everywhere. Robots doing chores, smart cribs watching over babies, and brainwave-sensing headphones are changing wearables. 
From self-driving tractors to stretchable screens, it's all about smarter tech making life easier. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned for the next one. And this is just the beginning. Are we ready for this level of innovation or is it moving too fast? What excites you most about these changes? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.